Ding Lorraine crushes Wesley So and qualifies for the candidates. In this video, we are going to show you how Ding Lorraine crushed Wesley So and qualified to the candidates tournament. Let's begin. Knight to f3, pawn to d5, pawn to g3, pawn to g6, bishop to g2, bishop to g7, pawn to d4, knight to f6, pawn to c4, pawn to c6, castles kingside. The neo Grunfeld, which can result in very complex games. Black castles, knight b1 to d2. White could have played c into d5, which would have resulted in a dry game. Also queen to b3 could have been played. Black plays pawn to a5, black expands on the queen side. Pawn to b3, pawn to a4, bishop to b2, bishop to f5, pawn to e3, knight b8 to d7, queen to e2, knight to e4. Now a3 is threatened, therefore. Knight takes knight on e4, bishop takes knight, pawn takes on d5, pawn takes pawn. Queen to b5, rook to a5, here black sacrifices the pawn for initiative. Queen takes on b7, knight to c5, queen to b4, knight to d3, queen to d2, rook to b5, bishop to c3, pawn takes pawn on b3. Here, if pawn takes pawn and rook takes pawn the game would terminate in a dead equal position. Pause the video and think what white should play here, knight to g5, yes it is knight to g5. Now, the black knight is running out of moves. Black has only one reasonable move that is pawn to b2. Rook a1 to b1, now black has to give two pieces for a rook, knight into pawn, queen takes knight, bishop takes rook, and rook takes bishop, now black threatens the knight by paying pawn to e5, knight to h3 pawn takes pawn. Pawn takes pawn, queen to c7, queen to d2, rook f8 to b8, knight to f4. Bishop to f1 would have been a good try, but rook to c5, if pawn takes rook, queen takes pawn and then bishop takes bishop, plus for black. Queen to c4, now black seems to be better, so white decided to give back its two pieces for a rook. Bishop takes pawn, rook takes bishop knight takes rook, and queen takes knight, rook takes pawn, rook to c8. White may be a pawn up, but his pieces are positioned awkwardly. Black is definitely better. Rook to b3, perhaps a mistake, queen to d3 would have been better. Pawn to h5, bishop to b2, king to h7, pawn to h3. It is very difficult for white to play now, queen to e4, queen to d3, white crumbles, this is clearly a blunder. Can you spot the winning variation? Yes it is bishop takes pawn, bishop takes bishop, rook to c1 check king to f2, rook to c2 check and black is clearly plus. Ding misses the straightforward win and goes for this, which is also probably winning. Queen to e1 check, queen to f1, queen to d2, queen to f2, queen to d1 check, queen to f1, bishop takes pawn check, bishop takes bishop, queen takes bishop, king to h1, queen to d5 check. A very difficult position to play for white and he. Blunders again with rook to f3, rook to c3, king to g2, now white can't untangle himself. Permanently, queen to c6, a very good move although simply rook to a3 and rook takes a2 was. Enough. White is virtually under Zugzwang. King to g8, pawn to a4, black can play rook to c2 check, king to g1, rook to c1 and win the queen because if king to h3 then queen to e6 but ding instead plays pawn to f6 threatening g5 and then g4 pawn to a5 king to g7 pawn to a6 rook to c2 check king to g1 rook to c1 
rook takes on f6, rook takes on f1 check, rook takes rook, queen takes a6. Now only the technical part is left although Ding unnecessarily makes it tricky for himself king to g2. Queen to e2 check, rook to f2, queen to e4 check, king to h2, pawn to g5, h takes g5, pawn to h4. Ding is confident in his abilities to convert in a queen versus rook ending preventing any possible fortress nonsense. Rook to f4, queen to e2 check. King to h3, pawn takes on g3, king takes on g3, king to g6, rook to f2, queen to e3 check, king to g2, king takes on g5, rook to f3, queen to e2 check, king to g3, queen to e1 check. King to g2, king to g4, rook to f2, queen to e4 check. This is actually a very tricky end game if you don't know. What you are doing will discuss the intricacies of this ending in a separate video. King to h2, king to h4, now black achieves his objective of separating the rook and the king. If rook to g2, queen to e5 check and king to h3, rook to a2, queen to e5 check. Now the white king can't tread on a light square. To fork when the king is on a dark square the queen should be on g8 or b1. This rank and file intersect at b8. So that's the plan. Therefore, king to g1, queen to d4 check, king to h2, queen to d6 check, king to g1, queen to c5 check, king to h2, queen to c7 check, king to g1, queen to b6 check, king to g2, queen to b7 check, king to h2. If king g1 then queen b1 check. Queen b8 check now white loses the rook and with it the game. Therefore white resigned. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe and share this video. Comment your views below. Have a nice day.